Hi guys and welcome to this Bunker Hobby Tip. So I've been picking up some steamships for Kings of War Armada, which are the dwarves, and I thought it would be really cool if they actually looked like they were a steamship. <laughs> so really quick and easy, how to add this. You can buy bits and so on and so forth, but you get one of these, these little stick things, and you see them in sort of like boots or any sort of like cosmetics place, and you can get hundreds of them for, for not a lot. Uh, the ends of them is what we're going to use. So if you grip it and pull, Other side, grip and pull. There's our steam trails. <laughs> and then we can just flex them around a little bit. Super glue. The tiniest dab here. Although I'm not very good at doing a tiny dab, am I? And just sit it in. Next one. A bit longer, it doesn't matter. Okay, sit in. There we go. You can sort of angle it around. When that's fully dry, we're going to do some quick effects with some black paint and then we're done. Okay, so obviously steam comes out, doesn't it? It'd be a bit darker at the bottom. So I'm going to use some Citadel Norm Oil for this. Now, if you've got an airbrush, guys, you can use, you can you can get a very sort of similar effect. And I'm, all I'm doing is dabbing it down the bottom. Okay, it's yeah, an airbrush is a better effect, but yeah, you guess it's on the board, doesn't it? There we go. I'm just drying it up a bit. Yeah, just following the way. This is the same technique you could use for making explosions and so on and so forth. I'm just following the direction I want the steam to be in. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit fragile, but you can actually sort of like varnish this as well. You know, if you're very gentle and very careful. Yeah. It just gives it gives it something different. If we go up there a little bit. And the more you do it, the more it builds it up. So, for example, that's that one done. I want to go up the front a little bit more there, I think. Yeah, and then sort of bring it together. There we go. So we've got a, a smoke stack. And it works on all the different ones as well. So there we go. There's another one. Just makes it makes it a little, a little bit more real. So it's... Uh, and just keep going, like with all that painting that we do on the channel, just keep going until you're happy with it, you know. It's um you build it up over time and you know, it just just makes it look a bit more real, doesn't it? Even the little ones. Yeah, so like the same principle. And it's just yeah. And it look added detail that can uh, do an awful lot for you, so and you can just keep going as you want. Things like that if you want you can it out a little bit it's a bit too much there you know tap it together until you're happy and it just adds that something extra there we go so thanks for watching guys that's with some really quick easy hip tip as to how to add some steam effects to your your boats or any of your steam engines and it's also something you can use for an explosion as well so thanks for watching uh, please subscribe for more tips and as always happy hobbying